Hey guys, welcome to another episode in our video series, Writers MD, where we answer the top questions asked and the top questions that should be asked by doctoral students who want to write quality dissertations in six months or less. Today we're talking about relationships, three ways to maintain healthy relationships during your dissertation. It wasn't until I recently asked this question that I learned how destructive a dissertation process can truly be on relationships. I say can because the dissertation doesn't have to be the mark of the end of your relationships. It doesn't even have to cause you to put your relationships on pause. Uh, If done right, you can manage relationships in a way that is healthy and fulfilling for you and those you love. So here are the top three ways I've identified for maintaining healthy relationships during your dissertation. Number one, communication. One of the biggest mistakes made by graduate students is in the belief that friends and loved ones understand your educational responsibilities. Somehow they should just understand you have papers to work on or research and that this means less time for them. Newsflash, they don't. And it's not because they don't care. It's just that they don't understand or know the process if they've not gone through the process themselves. And by assuming they do, you are only causing undue strain on your relationships. So the first thing I recommend is communication. Having clear and honest conversations with the people you care about not only helps them understand, but it also allows them to be part of your journey in a positive way, and it allows them to be part of your cheerleading team. If you're married, these conversations are even more important as they allow you to help your spouse feel more included in your journey and for the two of you to carve out time where you can Um, where you can maintain the things that are equally or more important to you, like family time. Number two, fight for what's right. Let me be clear. Many marriages have ended not because of a piece of paper, but because one or two people were not able or willing to make each other a priority. The quickest way to damage a relationship is to allow outside forces to take ultimate priority. Writing a dissertation is already hard enough. And the reality is that it can literally suck every bit of free time you have unless you A, hire someone to help and or B, set aside untouchable time where you and your partner or friends can connect. Because people with whom you have relationships with are ultimately much more valuable than a credential you can obtain. Number three, negotiate where appropriate. Pursuing a doctoral degree oftentimes will create an imbalanced set of demands that cannot be overlooked. If you know there will be times when studying will take you away from your family for an extended period of time, it is then key that you acknowledge and plan for this by negotiating time for you and your partner or friends to bridge the gap between irregular school hours and time with those you care most about. Be careful to reward your partners or your friends' sacrifices by making extra time whenever possible. To maintain a healthy relationship, you have to be willing to compromise, and oftentimes that comes through negotiation. If you enjoyed this information and would like to receive 20 free videos of the answers to the top problems that doctoral students usually face while writing a dissertation, along with a free copy of the webinar where I have given important tips and strategies that could help you write your dissertation in as little as six months, please visit www.writerser.com slash free. And I also have provided that in the description below.